Hi, I want to show you how to create a simple report using Management Reporter. It's really pretty simple. I'm going to create a row, I'm going to create a column layout, and then put that together for a report. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing I want to do is create a new row definition. So I'm going to click on Row Definitions here and hit New. It gives me a blank row definition, and usually what I do is I import my accounts from my chart of accounts. Let's go up to Edit insert rows from dimensions and I could specify a range here if I wanted to but I'm just gonna pull them all in and it's gonna pull in all my accounts I've got a lot of accounts so I got my balance sheet accounts and really what I want to do is I want to create an income statement so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all the um, balance sheet accounts here and scroll down till I get to um, sales and I'm gonna highlight all the balance sheet accounts I'm gonna right click and hit delete That'll delete all the balance sheet accounts and leave me with my income statement accounts. So I'm going to scroll down here and what I want to do is the first thing I'm going to do is make some subtotals. So I can start with all my accounts but then I'm going to make some subtotals that will make the report easier to see and use. So here's the end of my revenue accounts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a couple rows here and I can do a couple at a time so I'm just going to insert rows here. And then I want to add some formatting. I'm going to double click here, pull an underscore line there, and then I'm going to do a subtotal. You can see my, my options here, and I'm just going to hit total. And then what I want to do is find the rows that will make up this subtotal. So I go to the top, the first one is 4930. So one thing I want to do is I'm going to renumber the rows in my row format just to make it a little more manageable. So I'll go up to edit, renumber the rows. Let me start at 30 here. And there they are, they're all renumbered. So I'm going to go up to select 30, um, go down to my subtotal here, and I'm going to include my format line there, 1590. And there I've got a subtotal. And I'm going to add some additional formatting. And now I've got my row format. So I'm going to save this. save it. Now it's saved. The next step is to make a column definition. So I'm going to do that quickly here. Let's go to column definitions. I'm going to create a new one. And a column definition specifies the period of time you're pulling data for. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to put in a column type and that's going to be a description. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pull in actual data from my ledger. So let's just click on that. I'm going to pull in some actual data here. And this is going to be a periodic column. It's going to be a monthly column. And let's just add another one, which would be a year-to-date column. We can specify that here. If I double-click on that, it's going to be a year-to-date. So this is a very simple column layout, but let's save it. We'll save it here, and we'll save it as a new income statement. So the next thing I want to do is create a new report definition for this. So I'm going to go to Report Definitions, Create New, and it'll bring up this screen here. I want to specify the new row definition that I just created. We'll take that and we'll take the new row column definition that I just created and we'll pull that in. And now I've got my sample data from Fab Fabricam and most of that is in 2017, also in April. So let's pull that in, specify that. Also let's make a simple setting to only show rows that have amounts in them. So I'm just going to click that off there and then hit generate it's going to generate the report there's several steps it goes through and here's my simple income statement you can see I've got the subtotals in there and I can certainly add a lot of formatting to this I can add a different columns but this is the basic report that you can easily create in management reporter